Why, hello everybody, and welcome to Unboxed Autos. Today, I'm very excited to have with us, next to me here today, the 2023 Mercedes AMG SL43. So I have the keys right here. Absolutely love this key. It's super cool. Has a really nice way to it. A little bit of AMG badging up here on the front. Really nifty key. Also has a pretty cool shape as well, in my opinion. So we have a cool heavy duty well-made key to go along with this very sleek luring roadster by mercedes-benz now the sl line of vehicles has been synonymous for a long time within the mercedes-benz lineup of chic beverly hills-esque palm tree you know open air driving experience that you get here from the sl roadster now the sl was actually originally introduced in 1954 and has remained an iconic car amongst car collectors and you know really through just the entire uh, automobile history the sl is, is is well known and well regarded as one of the coolest vehicles of all time especially the early versions in the 50s uh, are also extremely valuable today and can go upwards of a million dollars for specific sl models now before us today we have the newly reintroduced SL43. There are actually three different versions of the SL that you can get. You can get the SL43, which is the most affordable way to get into an SL vehicle, and that comes with a inline four-cylinder turbocharged engine with hybrid assist. Now, there's also the SL53 and SL63. So this version right here, entry level, you're talking about $110,000 for the 43. You jump up to about $145,000 for the 53. And then for the 63, you're looking at around $180,000 or so. But you know, with options amongst all of these models, realistically, I'd be thinking, you know, around $120,000 or so to jump into a nicely equipped SL43 right here. And I think, honestly, I was, you know, really surprised at the performance with this engine, but we'll jump more into that in just a minute. First, let's talk styling, okay? When you first lay eyes on this vehicle, I think you'll just notice its gorgeous lines, elongated hood, and these really cool LED daytime running lights. Of course, we also have adaptive LED lights right here as well. They just have a really nice, sleek design style to them. I really like how they're placed, they're cut up here into the front fender and they uh, not super large headlamps they're you know really relatively thin considering and i really like that it gives it this really sort of sporty profile i like that again a lot up front right here we of course have a lower front fascia and black contrast of course with the nice white paint and this is a special paint color it's really more of like a I want to call it like a, a matte finish white and it looks really nice in my opinion especially with the black wheels that we have on this model as well as the red roof which is super super nice contrast coloring right there uh, we also have a relatively large mercedes pendastar logo right here it also houses some of the sensors for our distance guided cruise control, which is really great. Up front, we have an, the special AMG badge. So you actually are not getting the typical Mercedes badge. You have the special AMG Heritage Racing badge, which looks really cool. I really like that a lot. So, you know, in terms of front end styling, guys, what a beautiful, what a beautiful vehicle. Now, as I was discussing the wheels on this guy right here, we have these really nifty 21 inch wheels. They, we're riding here on Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Amazing tires, absolutely wonderful grip right out of the factory. Again, really like this black wheel design. Of course, if you want, you know, a chrome wheel, we have, you know, different options for you as well. So maybe you wanna go with a nice deep blue with bright chrome wheels, you can do that. We also have the AMG specific brake calipers, special ventilation there. Very large calipers, great for, you know, getting on the track, really pushing it, the car hard, really good stopping power right here. Now, on the side of the vehicle, pretty simple side profile. We have turbo electrified here. So uh, if you had some of the other models, I might say like buy turbo V8 or something like that. And this one, it's turbo electrified for the SL43. Uh, for the AMG, of course, we have these uh, black contrast. Once again, we have black mirror caps, black accents right here on 
on top, which is, is nice. Also, as we're kind of just looking around here, we'll also notice these cool little speaker grills, which are part of our premium audio system. We'll jump, of course, more into that in a minute, but those just have such a cool look to them. One of my favorite design features, though, about this vehicle is the pop-out door handle. So all you have to do is just touch them and they slide right out of the car. How cool is that? Beautiful door handle, guys. Absolutely stunning. And it's also, of course, uh, keyless if you want. So you can just push the little uh, sensor on the side there and it, it locks. And then to open, you just you put your hand right here by the, the door and it just opens right up. Absolutely phenomenal design there. Love the sleek profile when that's close and you're driving down the road. Now, the rear uh, of the vehicle also such a beautiful car. Really just looks good, in my opinion, from every single angle. Once again, with the taillight design, we're also doing that very sharp, tight design. So we don't have these super large taillights, but they are long. But as you can see, they cut deep very deep into the side and wrap right around into the, the rear profile here. Looks really nifty, especially how the LEDs are laid out. They actually have a vertical design to them. They look really cool. We also have quad tipped exhaust with little AMG badging on here. It looks really very sporty. And of course, more AMG badging up top. This is a spoiler. This is a retractable spoiler. So it actually has a couple different levels. So it has a full up level and a little bit of like a lip spoiler and of course you can also have it fully integrated into the rear deck of the vehicle when it's not in use we have some simple sl43 badging right here along the back as well but overall guys i think one thing that really sticks out to me about this vehicle is just the, co the cohesive design that we get throughout everything fits together so nicely and that is one thing again i, I absolutely love about the sl line from Mercedes here and especially in the uh, relatively affordable SL43 you can get this very alluring vehicle for around a hundred thousand dollars so let's go ahead now and actually check out some of the tech and luxurious features that are offered on the interior of this beautiful Roadster as you would expect from the interior of an SL vehicle, it is nothing short of ultra sporty and luxurious. It gives off perfect Roadster vibes. Some of my favorite features, first up on the interior here, are these super cool air vent designs. They even have little LED rings in each of the air vents. It looks super cool at night. They also have this sort of relatively cool aeronautical sort of theme to them, which I really like. The entire front of the dashboard here is done in leather. Even the upper part of the dashboard has leather with contrast stitching as well. We have these beautiful AMG Sport Racing seats. They have these really deep side bolsterings right here to really help keep us locked in if we're really you know cruising in and out of curves, carving up the mountain roads. These seats will keep you locked in. There's even settings within the system here which can even further uh, sort of Tighten you in the seat. We'll get into that just a little bit. Up here, we even have neck heaters. So there's little fans in the back of the headrests that actually blow warm air on your neck. If you want to keep the top down, if it's, you know, say 65 degrees or so outside, you can stay warm. These seats are, of course, heated and cooled. Also, not to mention, of course, massaging. I really like the door panels of the interior. First up, you'll notice the really nice large speaker grill design that's done of course in a nice brushed aluminum this is a premium burmeister audio system sounds very good we also have a lot of led accent lighting in the door panel which can be fully customizable within the menu which i'll show you in just a moment we also have the carbon fiber accents there on the lower part of the trim where you grab the door handle that's fully customizable as well and of course led lighting runs through that not to mention of course the all leather door paneling really nice they didn't cheap out or skimp on that quality whatsoever we also of course as you can see have really nice contrast stitching so just overall really nice door panel lots of features and uh, of course you can see the seat controls are in there as well but yeah guys just check out the quality it looks you know really nice everything feels good as you'd expect right from a higher end mercedes product everything on the interior is truly top notch now another thing here is this cool center console really kind of splits with this ipad like screen really like that folds down right here into the center where we have 
a couple of cup holders and here USB-C ports, fun things like that. Again, carbon fiber accenting right here. You can kind of rest your hand right here if you wish to be driving like that. Uh, but yeah, guys, overall, really like the interior setup here of the SL. Really do love the AMG steering wheel right here. As you can see, it has a nice flat bottom AMG badger right here in the aluminum area. This is all nice aluminum right here. Beautiful leather, big paddle shifters, which is fantastic. We even have these reconfigurable screens over here on the right-hand side for our different drive modes, Sport Plus, Sport, Comfort, Individual, and then we also have reduced power for like ice or snow. If you do have any driving that, this is an all-wheel drive car, by the way, so, you know, winter tires, you can actually make do with that. Uh, over here, this is reconfigurable, so we've got the loud exhaust. We can do that. Manual shifting mode, no problem. Auto stop, start off. We can do that. Spoiler, uh, spoiler position. So yeah, really cool reconfigurable little screens, dials. Absolutely think that's just great from a functionality standpoint. We have our distance guided cruise control over here. We have this little guy over here controls our center stack here for our driver's display. Really nice, crisp, clear display. I think it looks fantastic. Cool, different graphics. There's even right here at the engine data that shows how much power we're applying as we're driving down the road, which you'll see later. But yeah, overall, nice uh, functionality, really clear screen. And if we want, we can even, say, adjust it to uh, sort of like a track-focused look. It shows you how fast you're going, how much you're on the gas, how much you're on the brake, a little G-force meter over there. Personally, I like to stick it with just the classic gauges, AMG gauges, red needle design. I, that's what I particularly uh, like to stick with. I think it just gives off the nice sort of combo of both. Uh, shifter over here, nice quality. I like all the little switch gear is done in nice metal. Again, over here, cool air vent, little stitching even right here in between the cluster and the air vent. Well, yeah, overall, guys, really think this is just a nice place to spend time. Great grip on the steering wheel, nice, thick uh, design overall. Yeah, really like it. Now, let's hop inside and check out the multimedia system. So here is our central display. This is an iPad-like system, as you can see. Probably have this for its simple design right here. Really do like it, though, because of its simplicity. Right here, we just have a, a simple central home screen. We have our different apps, Mercedes Me Store, Comfort Settings, all this good stuff. Let's just pay attention to some of the most important features. In the Comfort menu, we have our massaging seats. We have three different selections of massage. We have a classic, relaxing, and activating. Now, the intensive feature just adds a little more power to the massage. Overall, they are pretty good massaging seats, although I have felt better in other vehicles. Lumbar support is pretty cool. It actually uses like this mathematical graph. So right here, we can kind of select where the lumbar really hits us. Wow, you can really feel that. Really is pushing, pushing you out in the back there. That's only at five seven. Wow, you like this thing is just crazy. The lumbar support on this car. Personally, I like it at two and one. Here's what I like. So there it is. That's the my favorite side bolster. As I was mentioning, you can push this bad boy all the way up to ten, and it really hugs you. You are like ready for the racetrack when you have it at ten. You're like locked in. You are like really locked into your seat right there. Heat settings, we can adjust the balance of the heated seat, things like that. Automatic seat position, you tell it how tall you are, and then it adjusts the seat to what it thinks is the ideal driver's position for you. Ambient lighting, so many cool options here with the multicolor ambient lighting. We have it switch through these different themes, which is what I personally really like to do. You can also adjust the brightness, and you have different effects. So if I make the car climate control warmer, it will actually flash red in the air vents or cooler will be blue. Lots of cool options for that. So yeah, overall, there's plenty of functionality within the comfort setting. <clears throat> Settings of the car right here, pretty self-explanatory. We have all our different driving assistance features here. We can actually go ahead and power on the vehicle so that you guys can get a good idea of what we have going on here. We actually have active steering assist. So what this does is it really helps us stay in the center of the lane as we're driving down the highway. We also have collision avoidance with active braking, right? So if you if it, if it thinks that you're going to hit something, it will actually, um, you know, apply the brakes for you so that you hopefully avoid hitting it, or if you do, it's much, much less of an impact. So yeah, lots of good options there for safety. Camera view. Really like it overall, really cool display. It has right here, forward view, rear view, side views. And then when you're in reverse or drive, you also can get a uh, sort of an overhead profile view 
as well as a as a the front view as well, which is nice. There's also a panoramic, which is great, especially when you're backing up. You can get this really wide 3D view, so you can see all the way to the right and left, uh, avoiding any blind spots. So that's really nice to have. Love this AMG page right here. Right here we can lock in and we can see our tire pressures, our tire temperatures, little G meter and accelerometer info right there. Engine though, this is my favorite one, as you're, as you're stepping on the gas and driving down the road, you actually can see the power output. As you can see, the engine makes 354 feet of torque, 375 horsepower. It also shows you engine oil temp, transmission temp, PSI for them, the turbo, how much boost is being applied at that time. IWC watch screen. So uh, Mercedes and IWC do collaboration. Normally, there's, sometimes there'd be a little clock in here instead with this digital watch. Consumption, obviously self-explanatory, shows you your consumption based on your driving history for that particular drive. So yeah, really cool features in there. Uh, my favorite though, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay Wireless, you hook that up. No problems whatsoever. This is the main sort of home screen. You have your navigation right here. You have media display, devices connected. And then, of course, you have some climate control settings right here. And then you can switch your uh, songs with these, these buttons right here. Nice, quick access buttons. Down here, we have, as you can see, a little slider control for the volume. We can actually tilt the screen here as far as sunlight. We have an on-off switch. We have our hazards. Right here, we can pop into some commonly used features for driving. We have the lane keep assist on off, active steering assist as well. We can also jump into all of our settings right there. Heads up display and our parking sensors. Right here is how you put the top down. You slide this over right here if you want the top uh, up or down. Camera and then pops us right here into our AMG driving settings. So as you can see, we can customize it however we want it. We want to jump into sport, we can do that. Loud exhaust, we can do that. Active comfort, what have you. Technically, this car seats four passengers, but in practice, there is no way you're getting two human beings to sit behind anybody back there. So, really, what this is good for, it's good for your minions. If you have like little minions that you need to like take around with you in your SL to conquer the world, you can pop them back there. Or, more practically speaking, you also can throw some overnight bags back there, your groceries, things like that. You can go back there, your Gucci bags, your new Versace, whatever you're buying at the mall, you know, a few Rolex, whatever you want. You just throw right back there, plenty of space for that. But again, most likely you're going to find some overnight bags back there, plenty of space for that. All right, guys, is the four cylinder enough? Oh, I think so. I think so. We're in some fun roads right here in Arizona, kind of putting it through its paces, the SL43. What a magnificent vehicle this is, guys. Absolutely incredible. Why do I like it so much? Why am I not disappointed that it has a four-cylinder? Well, first up, let's talk four-cylinder. Turbocharged four-cylinder, you know, okay, that's fine. Adding in the hybrid assist really helps, but you have to think power output. It makes 354 pound feet of torque and 375 horsepower guys almost 400 horsepower from a four cylinder i mean get out of here two liter four cylinder making 275 horsepower absolutely incredible i think it's one of the most power dense four cylinder vehicles for sale today if i'm not mistaken from a two liter that is absolutely bonkers on the power right incredible zero to 64.4 seconds do i need my my roadster to go you know faster than that not really guys i mean it's a roadster right so it's just meant to you know you're just meant to take in the beautiful views here that we're taking in right with the open top experience and then is it supposed to be quick and fast absolutely sure yeah but like right now how i mean check this out i mean holy cow how much faster do I honestly need to go? I'm all about speed, of course, but I mean, in terms of is the four cylinder enough power output? Absolutely. The one thing I was really concerned about was the engine note. Four cylinders typically ew, right? Ew, ew, ew. Do not like that four cylinder engine note. It sounds light, it's just yuck, okay? But not in this car, not today. The SL43 MG 
has just such an incredible throaty engine out of the four cylinder. I really can't believe it. It's the, the best four cylinder sounding engine I've ever heard in my entire life. And especially when you put in sport plus mode, you get the more you get more baffling in the exhaust notes. It sounds really good. And you can even step outside and hear the car. It really does not disappoint whatsoever. It sounds absolutely fantastic. The other thing which I just love about the SL43 is the handling, guys. It has all-wheel drive. Would I prefer to honestly have rear-wheel drive? Yeah, I would. I, I would. But this system is so good that uh, you really just, you really don't, you still get tons of, of uh, feel here in, in the wheels, even when you're on power. You know, there's no, very little, you know, um, pulling and you know in terms of that when you're on when you're on full power and you're really trying to handle the car really just they just have you know honestly guys such a with technology today the, the all-wheel drive system in these cars is so good uh it's just you, you hardly even notice it that it's all-wheel drive car and the way that they're able to balance the power you know front to back things like that is just uh really impressive and it really just makes for a incredible driving experience so yeah handling make sure that there's no one coming we're good no one on the other side we're gonna go slow across the their dip there over here in this beautiful lake here in uh, arizona i believe it's called lake mead if i'm not mistaken but you can jump back on the power Ooh, yes oh a little pop off there on the exhaust notes yeah this car again four cylinder not a problem engine note was worried about it not a problem um, 0 to 60 again, 4.4 seconds. Sure, if you want to step up to the six cylinder, go a little faster, you can do that with the SL53. You want to go full blown bonkers, like super sport style roadster, you can do that in the SL63. And, but yeah, I mean, just this car though, I think it's it's a sweet spot because you have that entry level price point of just over a hundred thousand dollars. You have, you know, still the beautiful interior and exterior design of the SL Roadster. And the, the Roadster, again, this really, in my opinion, captures the essence of what a Roadster is supposed to be. A quick, open-top, open-air, beautiful cruiser for roads just like this that we're on right here. And it delivers, in my opinion, it delivers magnificently. The other thing that's fantastic about this car is the transmission. You can have a great engine, but if it doesn't have a good transmission to back it up, then uh, you know, it's just not fun. Not cohesive. But the transmission in the you know engine in this car are partners in crime this guy is a nine speed dct it reacts so lightning fast it is absolutely nuts absolutely love that especially when you put it here in the manual shifting mode i'll use the paddles here for a moment all right Ooh, listen to that exhaust note it sounds so good step on the power oh yeah sounds amazing and then we have those brakes to catch us of course it's just so fun to drive i just really Oof, so good, so good, so good, so good. Anyway, all right, enough of that. Four cylinder, check, not a problem. Is it worth $110,000? Yes, it is. What kind of competition are we looking at? BMW Z4, Porsche Boxster is the competition that we're looking at. What are the key differences between the competition? Well, you know, Z4 is going to be, you know, quite a bit less expensive, of course. I wouldn't even necessarily put them in the same category, though they are both roadsters. So I, I will put them in the same category. Uh, but in terms of pricing, eh, the, the Z4, of course, is going to be quite a bit less expensive. Now, in terms of the Porsche Boxster, we can definitely easily build a Boxster up to 100K. Now, the question is, you know, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer a little bit of a larger open air cruiser or do you prefer something a little bit a little bit smaller like the Boxster? And they're both equally good performers in my opinion. Uh, this car is a little more comfortable, a little more roomy than uh, a Boxster. Um, but of course the Boxster, you can get a, a six. You can you can get a six in this as well, but the Boxster is gonna be a little more affordable. But yeah, it really just depends on what you guys like. They're all great cars. They're all amazing and uh, they're all just a joy to drive and love the sl line definitely keeping up with its its roots of an open air roadster since 1954. well that's all we have for you guys today hopefully you've enjoyed this review here of the 2023 mercedes amg sl 43 roadster